Hello, hello, hello. This is Marella Kale. You're a location gal and you're on my podcast, Fire Chat with Marella. Welcome. So today is a food for thought episode or chat. Um, and it's on a Tuesday. <laughs> but I think I'm getting a pass for this one because it is, after all, still 2020. And, you know, things have been a little skewed or a lot skewed and crazy, right? But um, I think most of us are happy that we're almost coming to the end of this year, which is great, right? Um, and um, we do want, we have a lot of hopes attached to the new year because uh, we're all thinking, well, it's a new beginning. It's bound to start something better. Well, of course, we're still dealing with the uh, pandemic and uh, with the, you know, the remainder of what uh, we need to put up with, with 2020. Um, and um, I think uh, we need to keep everything in perspective though, and, you know, make sure that uh, we have our priorities um, in order and uh, what's most important, which is to be healthy, right? And everything else will fall into place, so to speak, right? So um, I was thinking of um, something that would be fitting to sort of sum up 2020 and move us forward towards the new year and renewed, um, refreshed, you know, thoughts and, and hopes and, and uh, goals, right, for the new year. So um, here it goes, carpe diem. Quam minimum credula postero. Wait, what'd she say? <laughs> well, seize the day. Put very, very little trust in tomorrow. Seize the day. Put very little trust in tomorrow. Well, seize the day is pretty popular, right? Carpe diem. The second part maybe you haven't heard before or didn't catch. Um, it is, of course, a very well-known um, quote uh, that is attributed to a Roman poet, Horace, and it's some um, over 2,000 years old. It's in Latin, and um, I think it's a, it's a great quote, right, to, um, to sum it up and say, you know, we really lived this entire year just we were not only lived the year like this, but we're kind of forced to live it this way because we didn't know what was coming tomorrow. <laughs> I call it like the great uh, roller coaster of 2020 that we could not get off of, right? Um, so it, um, I think whatever 2020 brought um, to you personally, and I'm sure a lot of us have things that are unfulfilled or goals or, um, things that we want to accomplish, I know that I do. And so I think the the encouraging thing is that um, we're moving into the new year. So I think with that, there are ref refreshed and renewed, um, you know, goals and, and hopes and, uh, and everything else. So there is a new energy, right? Um, a new energy that's happening. And... Um, a friend of mine, however, mentioned this the other day that I think we should be really happy and proud of whatever we have accomplished in this last year because it was really challenging and just getting through the year was challenging. So it's not an excuse. It's just something that, you know, had to be dealt with and a lot of us had a lot on our plates to deal with, right? So uh, there we go. Now. With this concept, though, carpe diem, you know, um, I think it's good to move forward because it urges us to seize the day, right? Even more so than before. And I think um, that brought it to light more than ever right now, how important it is to do the things that, um, that we want to do with our lives because, you know, it's, it's not always going to be tomorrow, right? We got to do it when we have the opportunity. 
So it talks about, you know, it, it's, to me, it means, you know, what is the meaning of life? What do you want to accomplish really in life? So I came across this really great book um, and it's by Roman Krisnarek. He is a modern popular philosopher from Britain. And um, he wrote a book called um, Seize the Day, The Vanishing Art of Seizing the Day, <laughs> basically. Well, to be, to be true to his title, I'm going to look this up here real quick. So his book is called exactly that, Carpe Diem Regained. There it is. Carpe Diem Regained. The Vanishing Art of Seizing the Day. And what I like about it is from what I gathered, which I still ha yet have to read this book, and which I can't wait to do, just that. Um, and he talked, uh, talks about uh, the popular culture really hijacking this term and um, what's behind it, right? The seizing of the day because everything is so this minute, right? It's like right one click away. Just click it and you can order it and we'll come here and it will we'll be fast. And, you know, we're kind of moving away from what it means, um, you know, to live in the seizing of the day uh, towards getting things right right away so getting to things and and stuff that we want um and um the little uh you know caveat is that <laughs> um he, you know his book is available uh, by click right on amazon well it would be wonderful if we could just stumble upon a wonderful bookstore somewhere in San Francisco, Paris, Rome, London, Warsaw, and find this wonderful book on the shelf, read a little bit of it, get it, go to a beautiful setting park bench, sit down and read it. Um, you can have the second part of this probably, right? Right now, but it's all going to be by a click, especially in these Zoom times and these um, get everything online. But at least we'll, we're, we're safe, you know, we know we're safe, safe when we do it this way. So, um, so that's the, the plus. And so I urge you to read the book. I will put a link to it or to the description. You can read more about it. And he has some other interesting books out. This, this particular book, book was published, it looks like 2017. Um, and um, it's, I think, very applicable to right now. So I want to wish you a healthy, beautiful, wonderful, fulfilling year 2021. Um, and before that year comes, uh, there are the holidays. So I want to wish you um, happy holidays, but I celebrate Christmas. So I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. And whatever you celebrate uh, or don't, happy that, <laughs> right? So I want to wish you that, but first of all, be healthy and, um, you know, celebrate with your loved ones, family, friends, uh, whoever you can find, whoever you can zoom in on or call, do call at least one person and talk to them and see how they're doing. You know, I think that's the least we can do, right? This holiday, if anything. So let's be um, looking forward to seizing the day in the new year and here's to you guys stay informed be well and be kind and i'm gonna share with you my little favorite little snow globe here that actually plays music there you go stay informed be well be kind and i'll talk to you soon Happy holidays, Happy New Year.